early in your recovery, you may have muscle setting exercises for your hip. We're going to go over the four directions of movement. Pressing down through the heel, lifting the heel up, bringing the leg in, and bringing the leg out. All four movements are directed through the heel. If these exercises are comfortable to do in sitting, go ahead and do them in sitting. If you prefer to do them with your legs straight on the bed, there's a separate video for that. Follow the links in the description of the video to find that version. So now you know the four directions. We're going in, up with the hand below the knee, out, and down through the heel. If you already know how to do these exercises, go ahead and do 10 in those directions. If you want to follow with my guidance, we're going to do that now. Starting with the inward movement, with your hand on your inner thigh, you're gonna pull your thigh in towards your center of your body. Direct the movement through the heel so the whole leg is active. Do you feel the pressure into your hand with the muscle from knee to hip? That's the muscle we wanna work. We don't need movement of the leg, we just need the muscle to turn on as we exhale and breathe. Inhale and relax. Slow the exhale, press and exhale. Inhale and rest. 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 One more. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Now, if we were blocking the next movement, our heel would lift off, but our hand placed below the knee on the shin gives you something to push against so the heel is not lifting. Notice when I lean forward, I need to keep my back straight. There should be a broomstick from head to hip. We do not want to do these exercises with a curl. So please keep in mind to keep your back straight as you press, okay? You're going to try to lift your heel up, pushing into your leg. Press and exhale, inhale and rest. Now, if this is not comfortable, there's another version. The other version is placing your foot, your leg across your foot. Then you have two hands down for support and you press. Here, keeping your back straight, it's okay to be leaning back a little for that exercise. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. So whatever you choose to press, whether it's hand or cross knee, just keep a little pressure so that you can't lift your foot off. Ready? Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Press and exhale, 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 inhale and rest. Two more. Press and exhale, inhale and rest. Last one.
press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Now I'm going to use hand pressure on the upper thigh to block me from pressing my leg out. As I push, I feel the muscles tighten from knee. As you're pressing, as you cross your leg or cross your, or as you, as you push into your leg or hand, you'll feel the muscle tightening from knee to hip on the front of your thigh. This is your quads muscle and it's the muscle we're turning on for this movement. As you press into your hand to move your leg out, you'll feel the muscle from knee to hip tightening. This is your outer thigh muscle and it's the muscle we're using for this movement. So you'll keep your back straight, press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. If it is uncomfortable to press into your arm for some reason, you can use your foot hooked and press into your foot instead. It's hooked underneath. So that's a second version that might be more comfortable for you. Okay. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. If you do this, this version, you're strengthening your upper body and legs at the same time. Inhale and rest. Two more. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. Press and exhale. Inhale and rest. You could also be pushing your foot into your other foot and leaning back on your arms. It takes a little work off your arms. So if your arms are feeling sore and tired, you don't think that you can also be pressing your leg into your other foot. So if you need to take a little bit of, of a break for your arms, because they're already working very hard, then you can press into your hand. This version allows you to strengthen your arms a little bit more. So it's up to you which version you use. The last movement involves pushing your heel down into the floor. If the floor weren't there, these muscles would be bending your knee. But by pushing your foot down into the floor, just the heel, not the whole foot, the last movement involves pushing your heel, not the whole foot, just the heel, down into the floor. If the floor wasn't there, this movement should bend your knee, but the floor blocks you from bending your knee. So you're going to feel the muscles on the back of the leg tighten from knee to hip. These are the knee flexing muscles. Press for a few seconds and exhale. Inhale and rest. Press 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 and exhale, inhale and rest. Press and exhale, inhale and rest. Let's do two more. Press and exhale, inhale and rest. Press and exhale, inhale and rest. You may also have muscle setting exercises for the ankle and if you want to try the sitting muscle setting exercises for your ankle, follow the link in the video to find that series.